Hello everyone. My name is Dr. Pauline Samir. I'm a pediatric neurologist working at the Aga Khan University Hospital in Nairobi. Today we will discuss the practical dress code, the realities of anti-epileptic drug management of patients with epilepsy in Africa. What are the ideal treatment strategies? Epilepsy is a condition that affects at least 65 million people worldwide and at least 500 million are affected if we take into consideration the families and relatives of those people. 80% of the people with epilepsy live in countries with fewer resources, also known as the low and middle income countries. The treatment gap is a term we use to describe the difference between the number of people with epilepsy and the number of people who actually receive the treatment. In developing countries, this difference can be as high as 56 per 100 population and is specifically reported at 74 per 100 population in Kenya. The vast majority of epilepsy sufferers live in the low and medium income, country, income countries, which means that a significant proportion of these people who need treatment cannot access it. The diagnosis of epilepsy in Africa is fraught with very many challenges. Some of these challenges include inadequate understanding of the condition, which generates fear. Epilepsy is a condition that is frequently linked to superstitious beliefs, such as it is a curse, it is one's destiny, or it is a punishment for evil acts. Some people believe epilepsy is contagious and can be spread by saliva or through sharing utensils. There are practical challenges that contribute to this scenario, such as unavailability of the anticonvulsants, poverty, low rates of patient presentation to trained prescribers due to stigmatization, as well as poor health delivery structures. We also have very few medical specialists in Africa who are specifically trained to diagnose and treat epilepsy, both in adults and in children. Where a formal diagnosis of epilepsy is not made, for various reasons, then patients continue to suffer, especially children who may eventually not attain their full developmental potential, and as adults, they may not be able to, or they may have limited participation in social and economic activities. Some of the ways in which we can address this problem is by enhancing general public education on what epilepsy is, its various presentations, and what its management should be. This will directly contribute to diagnosis and compliance with medication schedules. Patient support groups are also an effective way to disseminate informa information and avail psychological support for those who are affected. In Africa, we also need to have a consistent supply of cheap, effective drugs to manage epilepsy and this is something that needs to be uh, addressed urgently. There are medications such as phenobarbitone, benzodiazepines, phenytoin, lamotrigine, carbamazepine and sodium valproate which should be availed and subsidized for the poorest patients. Training of more health workers on the effective use of these medications would also help bridge the gap. We need to use the simplest, most effective regimens in order to reduce the disability which epilepsy causes. We need to also involve our government agencies in order to help us in, uh, effect these sort of interventions. Children with uh, various comorbidities such as learning disabilities also need to be assisted. They need to have appropriate education and effective education which will help them uh, learn appropriately. For the few neurologists in Africa, they should also seek and be availed support which allows them to participate in epilepsy research so that they can better manage their patients and contribute to global knowledge regarding epilepsy. We also need to enact legislation that allows people with epilepsy to work and avoid discrimination. When people with epilepsy can work and support themselves economically, then they can better participate in social life and also better manage their condition and also provide for themselves and their families. So in brief, 
We do have a significant problem in Africa in as far as epilepsy is concerned. We also have belief systems that impact on how we diagnose and treat epilepsy. And these challenges can be managed by providing strategies that help these patients so that they can lead a full life. Thank you.